as you can see we've got all our bits there ready in our uh, tray I got a photograph of the lap of the brakes before and we're working from the uh, Haynes manual we've also got the X part of this on our computer for more detailed stuff and we always think it's important to have a manual even no matter how many times you've done the job to check the specifications and make sure that um, the procedure you're using um, is as it should be and as I say having that picture I think really does help you visualise uh, how it all goes back so we've got the shield all ready and it's held in by these um, four bolts you can see there and they've got like uh, an allen key fitting on them um, and a little bit of loctite on them just before we put them in so we've just got that lined up of course you've got the hole at the bottom for the handbrake and uh, the four bolt holes to uh, attach it. Right, so what we're doing there is just putting a little bit of silicon grease on the uh, cable just to make sure I hope it doesn't seize and then we're then poking through from the back and it'll come out this uh, hole here. Right, so that's the cable through as you can see a little bit fiddly to get through because you're technically coming through quite a, a thick space there but again it's something that we only removed because we were painting everything up normally you probably wouldn't necessarily need to remove that but i thought we'd cover it because that's what we've done as a part of it uh, the next bit to put on is the um, handbrake mechanism uh, we've cleaned all that up hopefully as you see earlier on and now we're just putting a bit of the silicon grease that comes with the um, brake kit we bought just to make sure that hopefully doesn't seize up yeah. right so hopefully you can see there we've then hooked that um, mechanism uh, on with those little hooks and then you close it back up and that should um, sit there uh, hopefully um, while you're doing the rest of the uh, job obviously it will fall off if you uh, knock it so it's a little bit fiddly at first and as I said we're following our original picture to make sure you get it the right way around because it's very easy to put that on in reverse and uh, you won't necessarily initially notice it's wrong but it isn't going to work properly if it does go on the wrong way so I'll just zoom out there so you can see where it's sitting right so we've got the new shoes there and we've laid them out uh, actually following the picture so um, it sort of really helps you to visualise it and um, we're going to put one on first and uh, they use a, a fairly standard system which is these um, little pins that push through uh, there's a little spring that goes on the pin I'll show you that there uh, and what they've got actually it's quite um, nice to use they've got like an allen key slot uh, that you can use to put them in so um, you don't have to struggle so much in getting these in as uh, some systems and these pins are brand new that we're putting in as, uh, as well and the originals had a Phillips head so uh, that's why I said it's quite nice the ones that have come in the kit have this like allen key uh, slot so we've got that in um, and then we're just going to reposition the uh, little handbrake mechanism because that's dropped out which it may do but it helps you to sort of initially line things up that's right, so what we're also doing is putting a little bit of silicon grease you see there's little recesses there there and uh, also you've got one just up here for that shoe uh, as well right so what we're doing now is putting on the uh, big spring at the bottom which stretches across between the two and then these have to line up which um it always sits a little bit funny at first while you're trying to get it all aligned and it all seems to come together as you get it all together Right, so we're going to put the adjuster in and uh, what we're doing is putting a little bit of silicon grease on that to adjust and what we do is set that adjuster to almost the minimum setting basically so the shoes are in closely so the disc can or the drum disc can turn as freely as possible and then what you then go on to do is to adjust that once it's uh, all back together. So again it's a bit of a fiddly job getting this all in but it's one of those things you seem to fiddle about and then it uh, all comes to uh, together. So 
that's the uh, little spring in and you can see we've now got that in there's a case of getting the shoe sort of positioned just about right so that you can get it all together and once that's all together then hopefully you can then put in the last uh, holding pin on the uh, other side And that is both pins in. Now it's a case of readjusting the shoes so they sit in roughly the right position. Right, so that's the shoes roughly in position. As you see, hopefully we started with the um, uh, handbrake lever mechanism. Uh, then we got this first shoe on. We then... Um, got it fixed with the first pin of course we put the silicone grease on the little lugs all the way around we've got the big spring in uh, next then we got the adjuster in and we had that on the minimum adjuster so that's the shoes in so they're not going to drag on the uh, drum disc brake but the little spring on then last of all that and that's sort of the rough holder we found seems to work is not quite how even the manual says but that works for us doing it in that order and again it's one of those things you'll probably find yourself a way that works for you so just to let you see we're on the um, driver's side but we're now at the same stage as the uh, passenger side right the next thing is to put the uh, hub back on for us we put a little bit of silicon grease here and uh, also we've put a little bit of silicon grease on the thrust uh, on the uh, hub there So then what we're going to do is put the uh, hub nut in. You've got that little um, or, or big washer that fits in that slot there. And then we're going to put the uh, hub nut in. We've got new ones for that. And what we'll be doing is just tightening it up and then doing the torque setting and putting the stake back in a little bit later. All right, so as I said, we're just going to do that hub nut up to uh, a nice tight position, but we'll then torque it up a little bit later on and uh, put that stake back in so it can't come undone. Right, so we're just taking the wheel nuts out. We mainly had them in there so they didn't get lost, but also let us stand that up while we were painting it as well. But you need them out, of course, to uh, get the new drum disc on and uh, in position. And, of course, that has the little screw there that uh, holds it on. We'll just put a little bit of Loctite on that uh, as well. Right, so this is where if the drum won't go on, you've then got to slightly readjust the um, shoes to the uh, drum will go on. As I said, they kind of find their own position once the uh, drum is on. To get it on, you've got to uh, get them in uh, the positions that's going to let you do that. So as you see, we were just in the uh, position of these to try and get the uh, disc drum on. And what we found was the outer bit of the cable wasn't quite in, so we pulled the handbrake up a couple of clicks and it jumped back, and that's got things sitting even better than they were. So it is a case of manoeuvring them about and getting things uh, just right. And then as you can see there, the uh, just drum disc has uh, gone straight on. So it's another one of those things, if something's not overly easy then there's probably something wrong there because when it's right it should just uh, go on which it has done there right so now all you need to do is just put in that uh, little fixing um, screw and of course that's got another nice little allen key slot in it once that's in and uh, right of course your um, wheel nut hole should line up through the uh, disc drum